Hi, hello. Today we are going to be talking about the seven star EV raids and what we can build based off its very limited move pool. Like all seven star raids, there should be a gimmick. In the last raid, Hisui and Typhlosion's gimmick was wanting to burn you so that Infernal Parade would do double damage. And if we remember back to Samurai, its gimmick was to critical hit 100% of the time, which is why we didn't bother to set light screens or try to lower its attacks since critical hit ignores both. Because Eevee is a pretty weak Pokemon, I'm guessing that it will start with a full raid shield like Pikachu or Mewtwo. This means that getting the Terra as fast as possible to break the shield will be a priority. It also means that if you Terra and Faint while shield is up, you'll lose the ability to do decent damage. Another thing to take in consideration is the possibility of a held item like Pikachu and Mewtwo. I'm thinking we could see Eviolite to make Eevee more bulky or something like Silk Scarf to boost normal type damage even more. Interesting enough, the move Knockoff worked on the 7-star Pikachu to remove its Light Ball it was holding, but that did not work on the 7-star Mewtwo to remove its Berry. So we should consider Knockoff as a move to on the team to help, but also understand that it might have been an oversight for the Pikachu raids. Moving on to moves, the two strongest moves Eevee can do is Last Resort and Hyper Voice. Both are boosted by Stab and are matching the normal Terra type that Eevee will have. Last Resort is a move that cannot be used until Eevee uses all its other moves first. So that gives us a little time to set up, assuming that it has that move. While Eevee could just have Terra Blast, if we build with Hyper Voice and Last Resort in mind, because they both do more damage than Terra Blast, we should be fine. Eevee gets Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, and Mud Slap for coverage on the special side, and then Last Resort, Trailblaze, Double Kick, and Bite on the physical side. While Last Resort will hit the hardest, I think the actual concern here is any status type moves Eevee gets. We look back at Penny's team, all six of her Eevee's new baby doll eyes, which lowers, the, which lowers your attack stat by one stage, so we should expect that. Eevee also gets access to Yawn for sleep, and it does get access to Fake Tears, Charm, and Tickle to mess with our stats even further. Side note on the ability, every single 7 star raid boss has had their hidden ability, even when it's useless during battle, like Delphox, Green Ninja, and Cinderace's ability, I would assume that that would be the case here. But even if Eevee does get adaptability, there would be no changes to this build. It would just make Eevee a little, a little bit stronger. If Eevee starts with a full shield and can sleep us to slow us down while going through all its moves, it could provide a challenge with being able to use Terra boosted last resort over and over. I'm, assume, I'm assuming that's the gimmick here. Or possibly this is one of the more easier raids that we've gotten. Okay, Pokemon. Let's start with Iron Hands because that's what everyone still loves to use after the last 11 months. <laughs> because Iron Hands could be hit with Charm or Baby Doll Eyes, I do suggest my Focus Energy build. I did an entire video on this build and how Iron Hands will always crit and restore more health than Shell Bell Iron Hands. If you're using a Shell Bell Iron Hands, first off, shame on you because Big Root is better than Shell Bell for, for Drain Punch recovery. But also, I think Scope Lens is a better item on Iron Hands. I'll post the full video here that you should check out because you can use this Iron Hands for other raids. But we'll want to use Electric Terrain in case of Eevee running Yawn. It will also boost every other Iron Hands damage output, so it is worth running. And I will say this before we move to our next Pokemon. I don't think Swords Dance or Belly Drum is worth it on a Pokemon at the start with a full Raid Shield right away. Getting to Terra will allow you to do more damage faster, so I think we should focus on that first. Then after the first stat clear, you can then boost yourself with either Sword Stance or Belly Drum afterwards. This is, of course, all depending on how often or how quickly Eevee will reset stats. We saw Mewtwo reset stats pretty early and then reset stats once again when their shield broke. The second Pokemon we're going to talk about uh, fits a build I was originally looking for. I wanted to have a Pokemon that had access to both Chilling Water and Drain Punch, but I wasn't finding anything I was super confident with. Past Simeon actually matches that. But a very few Pokemon get to move Breaking Swipe, and Coridon gets access to both Breaking Swipe and Drain Punch. So this build is going to focus on Coridon opening up with about two to four Breaking Swipes to control the damage coming from Last Resort, and then that will build Terra. And once we build Terra, we can switch to Drain Punch. We're going to use Big Root over Shell Bell here because Big Root does get you more HP back when using it with Drain Punch. This build out of all the builds is probably maybe one of the easier ones to play here because you're just going to control Eevee's damage at the very start with Breaking Swipe. And then you're going to deal really good damage with Drain Punch and have great recovery from that. 
I would suggest maybe Swords Dance here for after the stat reset. Uh, like I said earlier, I don't think there's any reason to boost yourself in front of a shield. You can just spam Breaking Swipe. That'll get you to Terra. Once the shield is broken, you'll be able to use Screech. But we also have moves like Snarl in case Eevee does go into a very hyper voice build. Uh, or Taunt just to stop all those status type moves once the shield is broken. Again, that could be Baby Doll Eyes, Fake Tears, Tickle, Yawn. Uh, I am aware that like less than 50% of people bought Pokemon Scarlet, but uh, we did build Maridon back for the Decidueye and it was undoubtedly very good. So uh, I do think Karidon is really good here with that combination of Breaking Swipe and Drain Punch. Before we get to the next couple Pokemon, I just want to take a second to make sure you're subscribed. Check if you're subscribed. That would be great. It does help out the channel. Uh, we're nearly... We're, uh, we're slowly approaching 200,000 here on YouTube, so if you could like, comment, subscribe, really boosts the video and helps us out, so thank you. Uh, our next Pokemon here is one of the best body pressers in the game currently, which is Carbink. Carbink has a defense stat of 150, making it higher than Zamazenta, Komo-O, and Fortress. Carbink's ability clear body will prevent any stat drops that Eevee could do, like Tickle, uh, on top of that, Carbon gets both access to Light Screen and Reflect. So we'll be opening with those and the held item Light Clay to help our team. I would then Body Press to get to Terra, and then I would Iron Defense once or twice to break the shield. Upon Shield Break, expect the stats to reset again if we don't already see stats resetting earlier. But we'll know the pattern after we do EV one or two times. While I think Zamazenta and other body pressers would be fine here, Carbon is a bit stronger damage wise just because that defense stat is higher. Body Press is based off your defense stat, nothing to do with your attack stat at all. And its ability is more useful because if Eevee does have Tickle or Frick Tears, um, that's not going to affect Carbink. We also don't have to worry about holding a Rusty Shield. We can hold Light Clay to make our screens last longer. Zamazenta, unfortunately, cannot do that. And I know the, like the one of the YouTube comments I expect is, well, Zamazenta gets a plus one defense boost. Yes, but you still have to iron defense three times to get to plus six. You still have to do that with Carbink because iron defense is plus two and the plus, I guess you could go to plus five. I, again, I don't think Zamazenta is a bad choice, but not a lot of people have Zamazenta compared to Carbink. Carbink's very easy to get. So, and it does a little bit more damage and it's cute and it's great. And bonus points if you have Diance, uh, which is exactly the same stats as Carbink uh, in this situation for body pressing. So uh, if you want to flex, you can just take the same build and apply it to Diance. But again, not a lot of people have that. Uh, Carbink it is, and I, it, it's great. It would be great for any future six-star raid that is weak to fighting that you would like to body press for. Finally, to finish our team build, our fourth Pokemon will be Clefairy with Eviolite. Clefairy has the ability Friend Guard, which will protect our team. Uh, it gives our team an automatic defense boost with Clefairy being on the field. Clefairy can also spam Life Dew to help heal any damage. That will free up its cheers so it can use Attack Cheer to boost everyone else's damage. Clefairy can also control Eevee's damage output with Chilling Water and can stop Yawn with Misty Terrain. We can also use Helping Hand here on Iron Hands or Annihilate players to make the raid go quicker. While, we'll, while in between, we can still heal, we can still support. I've made a Clefairy build in the past, and I think it's one of the best raid support Pokemon you can use currently in five, six, seven star raids. So I'll post that video here if you want to see me go more in depth with Clefairy. Clefairy can also use screens. So if we don't need Misty Terrain because the Eevee doesn't have Yawn, we can switch that for a screen. And Clefairy, I, I don't know when, maybe Clefairy could always learn knockoff, but Clefairy is our knockoff user if that does work. But again, just to remind you, it worked in Pikachu, it did not work in Mewtwo, so 50-50 if it's going to work here. Before we wrap up, there are a ton of Pokemon that play great support while doing good damage. I was looking at Galarian Zapdos, which I've built one before, or Hisuian Decidueye. Uh, they do rely more on Reflect going up to really help them out, so while I do think those Pokemon can work, they're maybe a little bit harder to use than the Pokemon I just listed above. Koma O is also pretty decent, but I think Carbink hands down is the better body press user by far. Um, it's also a better team player in raids with team support. Uh, Como is more of a, a selfish Pokemon. It doesn't really do too much to help out uh, the Pokemon standing near it. And if you're new to any of my videos, I always build Pokemon. Not only how good the Pokemon can be for the user, but how good the Pokemon can be in a team situation. 
Iron Hands setting electric terrain to prevent yawn and to boost other Iron Hands is why I'm recommending them today. Uh, and same with Karaidon with Breaking Swipe. So those moves stand out. Even if it's one move um, to help the whole team, that is still great versus a stored power Slowbro, which doesn't do anything to help its team. Um, it's just kind of on its own track. So I always want to focus on a raid Pokemon that can do something for their team. And if all four Pokemon do at least one thing for their team, this is how we get incredibly successful and incredibly smooth raids. Even if you go online with randoms, you're still doing one thing for your team, which will ideally make those random raids go a little bit smoother. Look, if somebody brings a level 57 Hoopa to your random raid, nothing under the sun can make that raid go any smoother. But if everyone's at least bringing semi-decent supports and you have something like Light Screen, Reflect, Misty Terrain to help that team out, uh, you'll succeed more than you'll fail, hopefully. If you need any help with these raids or you want to just grind them out this weekend for shards or nuggets or whatever else, uh, you can stop by my Twitch stream. I'll be streaming both Thursday and Friday night. I'll be able to help you out. Twitch.tv slash PKMNCast. But if you have any questions or anything about these raid builds, feel free to comment below. Until next time, I will see you later and thank you for watching.